There's nothing like asking a question to learn things you don't know or to be immediately despised for being a nosy so-and-so. Either way, asking questions in Portuguese is both easy and entertaining. Well, it's not too hard and making it entertaining is up to you. After all, you'll be the one picking what to ask. In its most basic form, a question in Portuguese is just a normal sentence with a question mark in the end. Está aqui alguém? Someone's here. Está aqui alguém? Is someone here? A Maria gosta de morangos. Maria likes strawberries. A Maria gosta de morangos. Does Maria like strawberries? Then you have special words you use in specific questions. These are called interrogative pronouns and interrogative adverbs. Here they are in two separate lists. Quem, who, que, what, qual, which, quanto, how much, quando, when, onde, where, como, how, porque, why. Quem is used like in English. It never changes its form. Quem és tu? Who are you? Quem são eles? Who are they? Quem é ela? Who is she? There are also no surprises in the reply. Quem está na festa? Who is at the party? Estamos todos. We all are. Que can be used on its own or with the article U before. The meaning stays the same. Que vês? O que vês? What do you see? Que queres? O que queres? What do you want? Quero a paz no mundo. I want peace in the world. Qual has a singular and a plural form. Qual é o teu preferido? Which is your favorite? Quais são os teus preferidos? Which are your favorites? Quanto has a singular and plural form and also a masculine and feminine form. Quanto dinheiro tem o Bill Gates? How much money does Bill Gates have? Quanta neve há no Everest? How much snow is there on the Everest? Quantos meses tem o ano? How many months does the year have? Quantas estações tem o ano? How many seasons does the year have? Quando also never changes. Quando é o Natal? When is Christmas? O Natal é em Dezembro. Christmas is in December. Quando chega o comboio? When does the train arrive? O comboio chega às seis e meia. The train arrives at 6.30. Onde is equally straightforward. Onde vive o ornitorrinco? Where does the platypus live? O ornitorrinco vive na Austrália. The platypus lives in Australia. And guess what other word is straightforward and used just like in English? Como é o pelo do ornitorrinco? How is the fur of the platypus? É impermeável. It is waterproof. One particular usage of como is in the sentence como te chamas. This translates as what's your name, although what it literally means is how do you call yourself. Don't look at me like that, I didn't make this up. Porque has a particularity. Instead of asking porque o ornitorrinco atravessou a estrada, which sounds odd in European Portuguese, you add é que after the porque to sound natural. Porque é que o ornitorrinco atravessou a estrada? Why did the platypus cross the road? Porque pode fazer o que quiser. Because it can do what it wants. When used on its own, say porquê instead of porque. Não estavas na festa. Porquê? You were not at the party. Why? You can also add é que after all the other question words we've been through. And many people do just that. You can decide to do it or not, but learn to recognize it and understand it. Quem é que está na festa? Who is at the party? O que é que vês? What do you see? Qual é que é o teu preferido? Which is your favorite? Quanto dinheiro é que tem o Bill Gates? How much money does Bill Gates have? Quando é que chega o comboio? When does the train arrive? Onde é que vive o ornitorrinco? Where does the platypus live? Como é que é o pelo do ornitorrinco? How is the fur of the platypus? And that's it. You're now qualified to ask questions in Portuguese. Do you want to learn even more today? No, you don't. Shut up.